All right, cranial nerve six, maybe a little bit less complicated. Uh, the sixth nerve only really controls the lateral rectus, uh, which makes the eye look outwards towards the side. So if it's knocked out, then you're gonna have a cross eye. Uh, causes, once again, diabetes, hypertension, those vasculitic things that give you a little stroke to the nerve. But you also need to think about intracranial pressure. And I'll discuss that in one second. So how does it look? Now this is a right six palsy. Watch that right eye when it looks out to the side. It doesn't get out there all the way. And you look over there, it looks pretty good. So you can imagine this patient says, I've got double vision every time I look to the right because that right eye is not getting out of there. It's causing more crossing in that direction of gaze. You know, when you see something like this, you know, we know theoretically what a six nerve palsy ought to look like. But, you know, knowing what it should look like and actually looking at a real life patient sitting before you, it's not always obvious. It really isn't. I mean, yeah, it's obvious when we talk about it and you see it in a cartoon version, but um, it's not always obvious. So just document. You just write down which eyes don't get out, then you can sit down and say, you know what, that, that makes sense for a six nerve palsy. Um, this drawing really is to serve one purpose, and that's one of the extra causes of a six nerve palsy is high intracranial pressure, uh, or pseudotumor cerebri, or idiopathic intracranial hypertension, you know, whatever you want to call it. But um, if you have high intracranial pressure, which uh, you know is common, especially uh, you know the the uh, what is it the fours, uh, young women in their forties or fertile, I guess the Fs, forty fertile, um, uh, obese. Uh, women tend to be a little bit more commonly get uh, high intracranial pressure, but anyway, high pressure around the brain affects the sixth nerve. And here's a theory why: the sixth nerve uh, is down here in the pons, basically pops out the bottom of the pons, runs up the floor of the cranial vault, uh, runs uh, near Dorello's canal before popping into the cavernous sinus. And you know, one theory is that something about this turn right here. I didn't really draw it very well, but there's a almost 90 degree turn from this cranial nerve 6 because it's having to come way up here then turn suddenly maybe there's something about this turn here this 90 degree angle that is very susceptible to pressure maybe pressure pushes the brain around who knows but something about this turn is one theory why high pressure seems to hit cranial nerve 6 but uh, you'll get a young person in who has double vision and you'll find they have a bilateral cranial nerve 6 palsy uh, you look inside their eye and they have some papilledema or some swelling of their optic nerves on both sides. you got to start thinking about high um, intracranial pressure. Send them off to the neurologist, get a spinal tap, get an opening pressure, and find out what it is.